Hey everyone, Mike here with Mike W Consulting and I wanted to bring you another quick video. You may see my setup is a little different here, got a different kind of uh, backdrop going on in, behind me just because I'm sitting at my desk. So I'm not using my normal video shooting area, I'm actually sitting at my desk and I want to bring you just a kind of quick screen share on configuring DHCP for, D, uh, for uh, VYOS. Now you may remember me talking about VYOS in the past. It's a great free software I kind of stumbled upon a while ago. It's actually been around for a while, but it is a free virtual router and it's great for setting up your own virtual labs or even using in a production environment. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to take a already set up VYOS router that I have and we're going to create a DHCP server on it. And we're gonna use a Windows 7 desktop to prove the DHCP server's working. So we're gonna get right into it. So the first thing I want you to see is that I have my VOIOS installation here and it is just completely basic. There's nothing on it. Um, doesn't even have an IP address at the moment. And I also have down here my workstation. So just to show you that this guy does not have an IP address, we're just gonna do an IP config. And what you're gonna see is he has this 169.254.72.12 and this is what's called an APIPA address. And this is what Microsoft gives Windows systems when they can't pull either a DHCP address or they don't have a DHCP server to talk to or they don't have a static IP address set. So we see that we have an APIP address here, which means that we do not have any network access. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just set up VYOS. Now, if you look, this is a fresh installation of VYOS. Um, there's no configuration on it at all. So what we're just going to do to show you this is we're going to do a show interfaces. And you're going to see that we have ETH0 and our LO, which is our loopback address. Now ETH0, you can see, has no IP address to set to it. So we're going to go ahead and give it an IP address. So we're going to just go into configure mode, which you type configure. And then we're going to type set interfaces Ethernet. ETH0 because this is the one that we're modifying is ETH0 address and then we're going to give it the IP address that we want it to have in this case we want it to have 192.168.15.1 and we want that to be a 24-bit mask so we're going to do a slash 24 that's the same as if you typed 255.255.255.0 and we go ahead and press enter and we're also going to do the same thing, set interfaces, Ethernet, ETH0, and we're going to add a description to this guy. And we're just going to name him inside. There. So now if I do a show interfaces, we'll see the configuration of ETH0 with a IP address of 182.168.15.1 and a description of inside. Great. So now we have an IP address for our router. So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually configure the DHCP portion of the router. And this is very simple. There's just a lot of steps you need to go through. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enable the DHCP server service. So that command is simply set service because DHCP server is a service of this router. It's not an interface. It's a service. So set service, DHCP server, disabled, false. And this will enable the DHCP server. Great. So now we're going to move on and what we're going to create is we're going to create something that's called a shared network name. And a shared network name is basically the different rules of DHCP servers we could have. So this router could actually be hosting DHCP on multiple networks. It doesn't have to just be on this one network. But we're only going to do one for this example. So we're going to do set service DHCP DHCP server and if you notice what you're seeing here is I'm hitting tab um, VYOS has a great thing like Cisco and like Linux systems where I have a thing called tab complete where if you type majority of the command and hit tab it's gonna finish the command for you what they also have is the question mark so if I type set service DHCP server and do a question mark it's gonna show me the dip different options that I have so we're just gonna clear this because I don't like all this clutter console Clear console, console, there we go. All right, I don't like all that clutter. So we're gonna do set service DHCP server. 
and we're gonna do a shared network name and we're gonna just name this LAN pretty simple and the subnet for this LAN is going to be 192.168.15.0 with a slash 24-bit mask and then we want to give the, the DHCP option where in this case it's going to be the default router so the default router is going to be this router so 192.168.15.1 because that was the IP address that we gave it and enter excellent and now we want to do a DNS server. So we're going to do same thing, set service, DHCP server, shared network name, LAN, subnet 192.168.15.0 slash 24 bit mask. And then we're going to do DNS server. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to give it the router is the DNS server, 192.168.15.1. Excellent. Now, the next two options, um, the next option we're going to do is actually um, optional, <laughs> keyword optional, and it is set service DHCP server, shared network name, LAN, subnet equals 192.168.15.0 slash 24 you'll get very good at typing these and it's the domain name and the domain name is basically what we want to give it so it's the um, what type of domain or what is the name of the domain that this is hosting DHCP for so we're just going to give it a pretty simple internal network make it simple then we want to set the lease. So we want to set the lease for a DHCP server is how long a DHCP request and a DHCP assignment will last a computer. We want to make the lease um, just pretty much the standard. So we're going to make it 86,400 seconds. So we're going to set service DHCP server shared network name lan subnet 192.168.15.0 slash 24 and then we're just going to simply type lease and 8640 and there we go so the last now the last thing we need to do is we need to tell this dhcp server what ip addresses it can hand out and this is a very simple another very simple command to do. We're going to give it a start IP address and an ending IP address. So we'll do set service DHCP server shared network name LAN subnet 192.168.15.0 with a slash 24 bit mask and we're going to do start 192.168.15 and we want to start it at IP address 20 great and then we're going to do stop 192.168.15.50 because we don't need a very large pool and there you have it that's that's pretty much it so now if we do show service DHCP server we'll see all the commands that we just configured so we now have the disabled is false the shared network name is LAN and this is all the configuration under it we have a subnet of 192.168.15.0, a default router of 192.168.15.1, a DNS server of 192.168.15.1, the domain name of internal network, a lease of 86,400 seconds, a start IP address of 192.168.15.20, and a stopping IP address of 192.168.15.50. So this is great. So we've finished all this now. So what we need to do now is do a commit and then a save and then an exit perfect so now what we want to do is come back here to our computer and we want to initiate an IP config slash renew and what we should get is we should get an IP address from the VYOS router and it looks like we have because now we're getting this new network so we're just gonna say it's a work network and you can see now that we've been given the first IP address, which is 192.168.15.20.
Now if I do an IP config slash all, we're gonna get every piece of it. So you can see that the IP address here is 192.168.15.20. Subnet mask is a 24-bit mask. The default gateway, which is the same as the default router, is 192.168.15.1. The DHCP server is 192.168.15.1. And the DNS server that we configured under DNS servers is 192.168.15.1. Great. So the one last thing we want to look at is we want to see now how many leases has this network, has this router actually given out. So we can simply do a command called show service, excuse me, show DHCP. And then we can see we have client options and we have server options. So we want to do server. And then we have leases and statistics. So we can see the current leases. That's what we want to see. And what we can see is we have a single lease setup 192.168.15.20 the hardware address of that guy when the lease is set to expire and I totally screwed up my math back there so the expiration is just you know like 24 hours not 60 days um, and the pool is the LAN pool and the computer name is MikeNet PC or excuse me Mike-PC so that's pretty much all there is to setting up a DHCP server with VYOS. So it's a free DHCP server option if you want to use it also as a router. I hope you found this video informative for you. If you enjoyed it, please uh, feel free to subscribe or leave me a like. It lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to continue to see. And I hope to see you in the next one.